I still sound sick in this video, it's because I am still sick. I'm doing, I'm bulk recording these videos since my upload schedule seems to be really bad lately. This is my top five uh, flagship smartphones and we're going to be going in order from oldest to newest. Okay, so the oldest phone is my iPhone 6S Plus. I got this from the Target bin. It's 128 gigabytes and it's on iOS 10.3.2 and it's unlocked to all carriers. If the video looks bad, I'm recording on a Moto Z2 Play since I'm, you know, recording my best flagships. But yeah, it's 128 gigabytes, iOS 10.3.2. It was last used on T-Mobile, so it says T-Mobile, but it's actually unlocked to all carriers. Yeah, I actually put a screen protector in a case on this thing. It used to have an OtterBox Defender, but now it has an original Al Apple silicone case in black. And then it has a $5 screen protector from Target that is actually tempered glass, and it's held up fine, actually. In fact, it chips less than my more, like, expensive screen protectors. The only chips are is that right there, and then one on the side, yeah. But it doesn't, like, expand like my other phones. And it, used it has a tiny little halo effect, but it's, it's not really big. But... Yeah, I got this phone almost pristine condition besides a really shattered screen protector. But luckily it's just the screen protector, but it had one crack right there, so that stinks. But it's not noticeable at all. And it also had a bad battery, so I got it replaced at Staples and it's fine now. Well, the battery wasn't... the battery was just... it had like extremely bad battery health. It still worked and everything, but just very bad. But yeah, it's almost like perfect condition besides you can tell of uh, the case it had on before me and after I had it which was right there. You can tell, you know, when the sun got in and didn't get get on the actual other part of the housing, but yeah, this phone is almost perfect condition besides when I dropped it in the OtterBox case, it got like a little nick right there and right there. So the OtterBox doesn't actually protect the casing, so that also sucks, but yeah, it's a really nice phone. It's my most modern iPhone as of now. I'm going to be getting a 128 gigabyte F my off iPhone 7 fixed, which you guys hopefully saw in the video that's going to be released uh, actually two days before this, so yeah, you probably already saw it by then, but yeah, let's get on to my next phone. So yeah, the next phone is this LG G6, which was actually in terrible condition. I got this from the Target bin, and it was cracked on both sides. The camera glass was, like, destroyed. It was missing parts of the camera glass. Every part in this phone technically had to get replaced, including the cameras, since the little holes in the camera glass opened up and dirt got in the main camera and the wide-angle camera. I thought it also had dirt in it, but it just turned out it didn't. And I got a new one anyway, so yeah. I got a screen protector case, a new screen, new back glass, new camera glass, and the only things that are original that's still in the phone is the motherboard, power button, and that's really it, actually. But yeah, the reason I fixed it up is because it was unlocked to all carriers, and I just, it, it just looked really bad in the condition, I just wanted one good condition. And now the only issues it has is some things do not work. But the phone was actually, um, I, I know why most of these things don't work, I actually know all of the issues and why they don't work, which I'll have to fix some other time. But yeah, so let's just go over the issues. Uh, first, the power button doesn't work, uh, the headphone jack doesn't work. And then, I think that actually might be it. Uh, yeah, I think it's just that. Oh no, also the earpiece doesn't work, so you can't hear anybody. And I know why those don't work. The first reason why the headphone jack and the earpiece don't work is because it, the... Uh, okay, well, a lot of grime got in every port in the entire phone after it was cracked. And the, it, it, this is supposed to be like a dust and water resistant phone. But I actually think that a bunch of grime got on the motherboard where the connectors for the headphone jack and earpiece go because they didn't work from the start on with the old screen. So I didn't know why they weren't working now. I think where they connect to the motherboard is actually like a little grimy because they don't connect like with an actual connector. They connect by little metal pieces. So I'll, next time when I open the phone, I'll have to, you know, fix that. Now, the really only annoying part about it is the headphone jack, that thing I really hate. But I can deal without the earpiece, so... Yeah, but I don't main this anymore because of those issues, and also the power button. It doesn't work because it doesn't want to stick, it doesn't want to go far down enough. I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's also not controlled by a connector because LG is stupid and they didn't make it, like, plug in. It just connects via magnetic pads, and it doesn't go far enough to reach them. If you, like, hold down in the area right there where they connect, you can get the power button to work. It's hard. Sometimes it'll, I don't know. You gotta know the exact area. It's, like, right there. I believe, and sometimes it well, it should be working, I guess I just forgot the location then. But yeah, otherwise it's fully working in every other sort, and the battery's meh. But yeah, I put on Pixel Launcher because I really like the Pixel Launcher. But yeah, that's really it. It has a screen protector and an OtterBox on it, so 
Yeah, that's nice. I got the Otter Box because it was like $7 and I just wanted a case for it because it was actually mint condition now that I replaced everything. And I just wanted to protect it. So yeah, let's get on to the next phone. To mention that that phone is on Android 8. Okay, so the next phone was the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, which I actually got from my friend in real life. And I traded them two pairs of headphones for it. And yeah, you'll figure out why I traded them two uh, pairs of headphones for this thing. First off, he's just a normal guy. He likes his phones to be usable. And he got this, uh, at, he was at my school, and he saw people smashing this, like, actually throwing it on the ground. And he's like, bro, to stop that. And they're just like, you want it? And he said, sure, and he, he got it. So, yeah, he showed me before school, and then when we went in our same period in science, he actually told me about it, and I was gonna check the IMEI for him, because, you know, so he could actually unlock the phone, since it was on AT&T. And it turned out the phone was blacklisted as lost or stolen. It turns out he recalled the, the kids saying that it was stolen or something and he just took it anyways. And yeah, apparently this thing's actually stolen. I took it to, I said, uh, I didn't want him to get in trouble. So I just said, hey, I can take it for you and go to AT&T and, you know, see if we can return it. And he said, sure. So yeah, I took it to AT&T. They said they could literally do nothing and they refused to, like, you know, get, just like, I, we even tried to give them the phone, you know, so they could give it back to the original owners. But they said no. Like, it was, it's, just never lose your phone. Just don't get AT&T. They will not help you. I, like, I, I, I literally went to an AT&T store and they didn't try to help me, but, yeah, after that I told them the story and we were all both confused, but, yeah, I offered to trade him a working phone that was unlocked, and we did that. Actually, that was a good phone, but apparently for some reason it just wouldn't work on Metro PCS, even though it should have. I knew it worked on SIM cards because I used it on my T-Mobile SIM card and it worked, but it should have worked on Metro PCS, but it didn't. So, yeah, so then he's just like, okay, uh, then he lost his headphones, his really nice expensive headphones. So I gave him two pairs of headphones and he said I could just keep the SA+. Plus. So, yeah, now I have this. It's on Android 7.0, and let's turn down the brightness. Battery life is still amazing, so I'm assuming this thing wasn't used that much before it started to get smashed. But, yeah, I got it unlocked and that didn't fix the blacklisting issue because I'm stupid. But yeah, I paid $29 for that, and I was going to get a refund, but then we, I just forgot, so who cares? But yeah, it works completely fine. It has a screen protector on it. It also has one crack right here, like identical to the 6S, but just on the other side. But yeah, it's very tiny. It's just like there to there. And then the cracks in the back, of course. I, I, I'm i assuming all these cracks happen from them slamming it on the ground, which I'm mad about. But yeah, another thing is the touchscreen's a little bit wonky. It works perfectly fine most of the time, but just like if you're like scrolling or something or like you can accidentally tap on something it's it's just weird i don't know there's like extremely extremely tiny dead spots but i don't know where they are it's like so they're so tiny that i don't know where they are because you could just like like look at everything will work unless it's just not a dead spot and it's just a spot where they work sometimes and it's they just like continue to work and then stop working but i don't know it's fully functional besides that so yeah i even tried contacting at t and told them the entire story of how they wouldn't even you know you know, like, give it to them, and they still said that they couldn't, you know, unblacklist unless I called them. And I, I was on a free text chat, and I didn't want to call them, and I'm here like a 13-year-old. So, yeah, they'd probably just not believe me. So, yeah, I'm just going to go on to the next phone. Okay, so this next phone I got brand new a week after it came out. Uh, we wanted it, or um, it was a buy and get with free deal at T-Mobile. First of all, I had a Samsung Galaxy S5 at the time, and I couldn't even put on data to it, and I got that from the Target bin. The reason I couldn't... uh even use it for data or SIM cards or anything, is because the actual SIM card tray was just missing. Well, it wasn't missing, it was all, like, broken, so I removed it. Like, it was literally, like, torn to shreds, which someone probably did so nobody could use the phone again? I don't know. I made that for a while, along with the Core Prime, which was the phone that actually had data and things like that. But, yeah, I just needed a new phone. My birthday was coming up, and she, my mom also needed a new phone, so we got these. There's a bound get one free at T-Mobile, or a deal on T-Mobile, and it was of the Moto Z2 Force. Originally, we were going to get a Galaxy S8, but then we went to Verizon to check, you know, if they had a better deal, and then we just didn't get any of them, because, yeah. So two weeks later, we actually went to one in a different state when we were on vacation, and we ended up getting these. But, yeah, this is actually better than the S8, technically, and we were going to get an S8+, Plus, and I literally have an S8+, Plus now, so either way, I would have had one, so I guess it was good that I got this one. Also, this is far more powerful than a Galaxy S8 and things like that. This is actually the fastest phone ever when it first came out, and it's actually still amazingly fast, so you'll never see lag on this thing at all. The only bad things about it is it doesn't have a headphone jack, and the battery life has just always been bad. It's 27,000 uh, milliamp hours, so it's always just been a bad battery, but 
you know, it's it's fine. It'll get you through like half of a day if you if you like it, it, it can get you through the whole day if you have a charger on you. But uh, if you don't have a charger, it's gonna die on you. But yeah, it has an amazing camera, or at least until I got my Pixel 2 XL, it just and it it annoys me because it makes every other phone camera look terrible to it. But yeah, it's been through four screen protectors, four. So yeah, it's it's been through four because one of them it got air bubbles in the same corner. Every time I tried to put it back on and off, and it just it just annoyed me, and so I took it off, and it cracked and everything, so I just didn't want it on. So I put on a different screen protector, and I, I just had to deal with the air bubbles, because it's just always, like, right here, and right up there, and it's just a weird thing, I guess, the screen was off-leveled, or because scratches, I don't know. But yeah, it's just always air bubbles in that same area, so I just learned, or dealt with it, then it got cracked. And it wasn't, like, from me dropping it or anything, I didn't really drop this phone. The cracks happened from, like, spontaneous, like, little cracks in the side that would just, like annoy me because I have like severe OCD with things like that but yeah if I'd like I'd like try and pick at it and then it'd get worse so then I'd take it off and then I got another one and then I put that screen protector on top of it and yeah that one just ended up cracking as well and then one of them was on my mom's phone so this thing's actually been through oh this thing's been through three screen protectors actually but yeah it's extremely scratched because the screen's made out of plastic you can't actually see it unless you put it under a very fine light uh yeah right there you can kind of see it where the light is. It's it's like everywhere on the display. But yeah, it technically works fine and I I still love this phone. It has a little wood back on it because it's like a little Motorola attachment thing that I got from a Target bin from a regular Moto Z Play. But yeah, this is at the back of it. I just put a little Intel sticker because it was it fell off a Chromebook. So I for my school, so I just put it on there. But yeah, it's fully working. It has a little bit of burn in because it uses it I think it uses LG panels. It has a burn-in of, like, the home keys, which you can kind of see, and then the notification bar. But then I turned off the home key thing after Android Nougat, because you can tell it's Nougat Android bars, because it has, a like, a double ring, and uh, Android Oreo didn't. But yeah, I use one key navigation, which is actually amazing. It's way much better than navigation bars. It's just amazing on this phone. On the Z2 Player E4 Plus, it's actually trash, but on this phone, it's great. It just feels so smooth and reliable, but... Yeah, I use this phone a lot at home now. I sometimes put my SIM card back in it. It's unlocked all carriers now. It used to be locked to T-Mobile, but we got it unlocked. And it's fully paid off. So that's good. So yeah, this is one of my nicest phones, I guess. But yeah, let's get on to my best and newest flagship phone. Okay, my best newest flagship phone is a Google Pixel 2 XL. Which I just put a new screen protector on today because the old one uh, got the little chipping thing. Which, I, I don't know why it happens, it just randomly chips, and then it just got so worse that I didn't enjoy the phone anymore, so I replaced it. I just tore it off in a doctor's appointment. Uh, I don't know why I need to mention that, but I just took it off. And yeah, so basically this is it now. I put on a new screen protector since the lot came with two. It's tempered glass, and it has a little, you could see a halo effect, where it's just like all over the thing. And that's because it's, it has curved glass, and the screen protector manufacturers didn't care that it did, and just went for cheaper equals better. So yeah, it doesn't really bother me, but I used to fix it with like a, there's like the freaking cooking oil thing, you could do that and it would make it all black and it would work fine, but I think that's why the screen protectors kept chipping. I'm just stopping that, so I'm not going to do the cooking oil thing anymore to get rid of the halo effects, so I'm just going to let it be. But yeah, it's on Android 9, I got it for $50 off of Mercari Google Locked. And this thing was actually Google Locked so recently that uh, it was actually on the November uh, security patch, and I got this in December, like middle December. But yeah, it's been my main phone since then. It's unlocked to, se to all carriers since it's a Pixel 2 XL, and the camera is amazing on this phone. It has no burn-in. You can see a very, very small, uh, you know, burn-in on the actual na navigation bar, but it's very small, and this thing's like, it's just a great phone all around. I've never had a phone better than this one, and it's... it, it just it's purely just for the camera. The battery is a lot resemblant of my Moto Z2 Force, and that's probably because this thing's been used for probably like an entire year. And it was also in kind of bad condition, but the screen wasn't cracked, so that's really all I cared about. But yeah, the t it has a tiny crack in the top glass. I'm either I'm either going to cover it with a D-brand skin, leave it as is, or I'm just going to replace it with like a white back glass or a black one, I don't know. Yeah, and the other scratches are on the actual back glass, or not back glass, like back metal. It's really annoying because you can tell, it, I don't know if it was in a case or something because that, but I don't know, it's just really annoying to me for some reason. It also has scratches on the front, on the sides, which kind of made it look like a cheaper phone, like a blade. 
Z-Max, which you had that like a co as a common thing, but yeah, that was really annoying. It also has dents all around the corner, so this thing definitely hadn't been in the case, but the screen never cracks, so that's good. But yeah, that's really all I care about, that the screen doesn't crack, so I put a screen protector on it, and I'm thinking about getting an official Google Pixel 2 a fabric case, which looks really nice. But I haven't gotten around to getting one yet. So, yeah, that's basically this phone. It's on Android 9. You can tell by the notification bar. Android 9 runs great. I didn't. I expected to not like it, but it's actually pretty good. But I still prefer Android Nougat. That's my favorite Android version. Android Nougat and Android 4.4. Those are the... 4.4.4. Those are the best versions of Android. So, yeah, it's on Android 9. It's a 64 gigabyte. I don't think they made a 128 gigabyte model. But yeah, uh, I, it, the sad part about it is it doesn't have a headphone jack, and they removed micro SD card expansion. Like, really? Did they actually, like, they pulled an Apple on this phone. But yeah, act, my Moto Z2 Force, it has a 64 gigabyte SD card in it right now, because this is my main YouTube recording device. I might just switch over to the Pixel 2 XL, but yeah, I've just been, I, I, I just needed that for this phone. Because I was actually able to fill up the 64 gigabytes of storage because I just got so much apps and things on it. But then I reset it to get a fresh start and it just has these six apps and then the stock Google apps, uh, some utilities, and like four games. So yeah, it probably is only used about like 16, maybe 19 gigabytes of storage right now. I'd also like to mention it has some dents on the corners. But yeah, that's way much better than having no SD card expansion, which is actually really stupid. But yeah, my Moto Z2 Force had a front-facing speaker, which is actually really great. And this thing has dual front-facing er, speakers, which is also really great. Battery life is decent. It's either the same or worse than my Z2 Force's, so that's why I'm comparing it to it. It's basically just a Google version of the Moto Z2 Force without Moto Mods. But yeah, it's, it's just, it's a really nice phone. I really like it. So... Yeah, this is my top five best, uh, newest flagship phones in my collection. If you guys like the video, leave a like. If you guys want to tell me something or, like, I don't know, just do anything, leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.